What day is it? Second. And it's, uh, which would be Wednesday? Yep. Yep. And this is the start of tape number five. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm with Leonie and we're at Stanley, coming into Stanley. And that's the nut out there. Apparently we'll be up the top of that later, will we? Oh, you can go up on the lift. Go up on the chairlift? Yeah, well, why not? And down that way, that's uh, Rocky back towards Cape. Rocky Cape, and beyond that is Table Cape, and beyond that is Burnie. Nice green blue waters of um, what would this bay be called? Um, don't know. <laughs> Don't know, Bay. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, yeah, there. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> A very, very well done sign. This and with um, colour coding and numbers and stuff, to s so you can pick them out on the map. And apparently there is where the chairlift goes up, which is up there somewhere. <laughs> well, we've just left the chairlift station at um, Stanley, and we're heading north and upwards. Mm. <laughs> and Leonie's having kittens here. <laughs> A bit of, brave, <laughs> bit of bravery on her part for, to go in this, on this ride, so well done. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad, I don't think. No, no, it's, you feel quite... Going down is going to be worse. You get a better view though when you're going down, yeah. as you can see, without having to crane your neck. I wonder what would happen if my shoe fell off. <laughs> um, you'd have to get down and, and this is the sweeping panorama from the top of the nut starting from the east town of Stanley See if there's any sharks in that beach and, and tell all the people if there's people swimming there. <laughs> Can't see any sharks. And that's the share lift that we came up on. Someone else is going down, you see. Walked all the way up past that little hut there, down there, <laughs> and then up this big, this big uh, grade here. And he's done very well. Now this is the downward trip and it's always the, the most scenic way when you're on the chairlift because I'm so experienced now, I've been on two of them. <laughs> so you're getting the real view while you're coming down. You can see the car, it's still there, and he's pissed it yet. Ooh, 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 we're going over one of the gantry things. See the strip of wet sand and white must be low tide or something. Oh, it's going out. Hey. 
I think I was out of whack. Um, the viewfinder thing, yeah, there's, that's it. This is Boat Harbour and a nice little archway or mosaic. The walkway up to a lookout, look out over Bass Strait. Yeah, and there's one there. The bees hard at work. Nice beach down there. Oh, oh it's, there. it's too bright up there. Yeah, I saw it. It's high up. Yeah. It's not... So I used to go watering. You know the different colour in the water you've got. Yeah. In, and it's dark out there. Yeah, and you can see the reflection of the mm. cloud mm. in the water. And the shadow as well. See where the cloud is and white shadow and it's reflection. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's worse. Right? It's okay. Stills are okay but videos aren't, is that it? Mm. Uh. <laughs> You want it back? Better give it, give it back to her. <laughs> That's a terrible one. It's good to do it to somebody else, but you don't have to do it to me. <laughs> good blackmail material, mm. though. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a worry. Thank you. Save yourself, buddy. <laughs> oh, I see. Is that what you want? <laughs> oh, good on you, Barney. <laughs> you shouldn't smoke so much. You've got a very hoarse bark. Your <laughs> pretty flowers. Oh, aren't they well. lovely? <laughs> so now you helped plant those, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Well, where's this pool? Oh, this oh, is yeah. our swimming pool over here. Yeah. Duck, duck your head. <laughs> oh, shush. You're worse than Coco. Kid proof fence. Well, it's sort of meant to be. Is it tadpoles? Ah, well, they live in there. Oh, well, they were in the pool and Sinead's been collecting them. <laughs> what, what are you doing? There's enough water in there to break the drought in um, my area. Fill up the lake. Murky. Ah! Oh, Better than water. This is where Mr. Lewis lives. There he is. Oh, he's out, is he? Oh, look at him! That's Mr. Lewis. It's hard to see through this grate here. If I undo it, he'll jump out, so I won't. Yeah. Very floppy ears. He's a loppy dwarf. No. What's he called, Mum? Yeah, loppy dwarf. Loppy dwarf <coughs> rabbit. Yeah. <coughs> That's him. And this one's got the sad tail to tell. This is. Um, and out this way, we don't need to worry about the chooks getting taken off by the foxes. They can stay outside all the time. And they grow big and fat and strong by looks. <laughs> we'll grow lots of eggs. Mm. Mm. How many chooks have you got? Pink eyes or just potatoes? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's lots of potatoes because they do a trial run. I don't know whether you can see where that big strip is through the middle on the right mm. hand side. That there's little pegs. They they do um, trials to see what 
grows best and mm -hmm. all the new varieties. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> what sort of flower is it? What is it? It's a weed, I don't know. Yeah, it's a clover, a piece of clover. Okay. Clover flower. But it's still a weed. No, not really. Well, clover's not a weed. Mm, okay. What is clover then? <laughs> is that the only way to keep you quiet? <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is where Dion's been doing all this stuff, making his speaker boxes and his dust from here to kingdom come. I've stopped. <laughs> ah! More. <laughs> Spoilt dog. <laughs> Noisy dog. He's <laughs> <laughs> not taking any notes of you. Me? Hmm. Shake hands. That's about the only thing he knows. Shake hands. And this. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 okay, we're coming in through the front door of the last of my cabin accommodation. This is at Devonport East, the Abel Tasman Caravan Park. Nice big open planned room with a table and a nice little sofa. I think it's a fold out bed sofa. And through here we have the bedroom. Nice big area. Slide on. There's the bed. Through there is a little ensuite with the toilet and shower. And there's me, resplendent in my new t-shirt which I bought yesterday. And this uh, this room comes with a, another extra, which has I've yet to see in any other caravan park. And that's this. As soon as I arrived, this this I think it's a I think it's a girl. I'm not sure. But she came up and went meow, meow, and made herself at home. Bit of a chewed up old ear, but nice pussy cat. Must come with the room. Very friendly. Gotcha. Say hello. Meow. <laughs> there you go. Out of my window. In the morning, we can see across here the old girl going up the river. The one that I'll be on later on today. This is our final little mini tour for the trip in Tassie. I've just headed out from Devonport east towards um, Port Sorrel which is only a few k's away and we'll just have a, a final little bit of a look around the countryside. I've spent the morning wandering around the shops in uh, Devonport proper and just having a good time standing around in the one place for a, a little while instead of constantly being on the go and so it's now just gone 12 and just to fill in the last couple of hours before I'm going to go and go down to the ship, I thought I'd go to the nearest point I haven't been to before, which is Port Sorrel, and that's just coming up shortly. Port Sorrel. This is just uh, a matter of looking at the map and picking out a name, and and uh, got no idea what to expect. So. Uh, it's probably one of those places with a little harbour and nice houses and um, boats and water and, and typical coastal Tasmania. Somewhere where we can take the doggies for a walk. 
Didn't I tell you? Yep, typical coastal Tasmania. That's several small steps for a small man. Kind of soft sand here, eh? Very high tidal variations apparently in this area. So I said to be more wary of it. Quicksand, I'll probably sink without a sight. Oh no, here I go! Oh, oh, oh. Well, after digging myself out of the sand and coming back to the car, I just had a, the most major, major panic attack because I went to start the car and it just went click, clickety click, nothing. I went into total panic there for a few minutes and I've uh, eventually sort of wobbled the, the uh, battery terminals around and managed to get it to go. But uh, whew, it's a bit scary when you've got a few hours to go and you've got to be on the boat. And suddenly the car decides not to, not to play the game. So uh, I think I'll just go and get it tightened up properly before I head anywhere else. Whew. You've got no idea how that felt. Last country drive in Tassie on the way back to Devonport. Wrapping around here. Lots of flowers, lots of um, potato fields. Weasley Vale store. fields of this stuff on the right, I don't, I don't know what it is, if anybody can identify it for me, it would be very helpful, thank you. Big uh, whitish flowers and sort of uh, big looking leaves on it. This is filling up the car park prior to getting on board the uh, Spirit. It's now just about, there you go, nearly two o'clock in the afternoon and there are, I counted about 21 lanes wide and about, oh, about seven to ten deep and uh, they form the wall up in these rows first before actually letting us drive 
through that gate over there and around onto the back of the of the ship. Unlike the front when you're coming across, you drive on the other way. So we come out, come off the front uh, opening in the same position when we get to port, get stationed here. Too far.
that's my the, problem. That's, that's why they call it a funny bath. Yeah. Oh, no. Swing around in the width of the river, literally turning and pushing the front end around. He's got her over hard right. Dead side on now. around and bring up all the mud from the bottom. Now we're facing the right way. The ship is here for the grooming. Tucked there, they will probably come out and get us if we break down. Did break down last year. Wouldn't be very nice, would it? Be stuck at the middle of Bass Strait. Get off in the morning 
after the crossing. I noticed that um, I can get in to this car even though there's only much gap because I climbed in through the back window. All these other poor people have to wait in there, making the alleyway till the far right hand all goes first and then they can get into their cars, you see. It's impossible to get in to the others until the uh, right hand lane moves away. We've come off and now we've jumped back in the city of Melbourne. Look at all them coaches all leaving at once and us. Typical Melbourne day, a bit overcast. Not too cool though, it's not bad. Uh, redoing all this uh, ex exit area by the looks, it's going to be all different eventually. By the way, it's just gone, uh, it'll be just about 20 past 9 by the time I get off the end of Station Pier, which is as I turn around this corner. <clears throat> so it's a lot quicker unloading, especially at the Melbourne end, than it is even to unload at the Devonport end. back at Lake Merrin and have a look there's been some water put in it there's a new section of um, oh, it's five o'clock you can tell by that bipping a new section of uh, concrete has now got water over it now I um, measured this new section um, to be about 15 paces long, so I'll just see how many, how far from the edge of the water will still be left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, about six paces or more of of the uh, concrete is now covered by water. So it's almost enough to get a boat in, I would imagine. Look at that beautiful, clean, well. I mean, beautiful smooth water. <laughs> 